A number of the signs of type 1 and type 2 diabetes are the same. One common factor in both cases is the fact that there is too much glucose in the blood and not enough in the cells of your body. High glucose levels in type 1 are due to a lack of insulin because the insulin producing cells have been destroyed. Type 2 diabetes occurs when the blood cells become resistant and no longer respond to insulin that is being produced by the body. In both cases, your cells aren't getting the glucose that they need to function, and your body lets you know by giving you these signs and symptoms. Frequent trips to the bathroom. Do you visit the bathroom much more lately? Does it seem like you urinate all day long? Urination can become more frequent because there is too much glucose in the blood. If insulin is ineffective or non-existent, your kidneys cannot filter glucose back to your bloodstream. Your kidneys become overwhelmed and try to draw extra water out of the blood to dilute the glucose. This keeps your bladder full and it keeps you going back and forth to the bathroom. Do you ever get an unquenchable thirst? If you feel like you just can't get enough water, this is another warning sign of diabetes, especially if this is coupled with frequent urination. When your body is pulling extra water out of your blood and you're running to the bathroom more, you become dehydrated and feel the urge to drink more to replace the water that you're losing. Losing weight without trying. Now losing weight is a symptom that's more noticeable with type 1 diabetes. In type 1, the pancreas is no longer making insulin, quite possibly due to a viral attack on the pancreas cells or because an autoimmune response makes the body attack the insulin producing cells. Your body desperately searches for an energy source because the cells aren't getting glucose. This will start to break down muscle and fat tissues to provide energy. Now type 2 happens much more slowly and more gradually with increasing insulin resistance so weight loss is not as noticeable. Weakness and fatigue. Yes, we're talking about that bad boy glucose again. The glucose from food we eat travels into the bloodstream where insulin is supposed to help it transition into the cells of our body. Our cells use it to produce the power and energy we need to survive. If the insulin isn't there or the cells don't respond to it anymore, then the glucose never enters our cells and stays outside the cells in the bloodstream. Now the cells become energy starved and you feel exhausted, tired, and a bit run down. Tingling or numbness in your hands, legs, or feet. Tingling or numbness in your hands, legs, or feet is called neuropathy. This occurs gradually over time as consistently high glucose in the blood damages the nervous system, in particular the extremities. With type 2 diabetes, this is a gradual onset. People are quite often not even aware they have it. Therefore, blood sugar might have been high for quite a few years before a diagnosis has ever been made. Nerve damage can creep up without us ever knowing. With tighter blood glucose control, neuropathy can very often improve once blood glucose control has been achieved. Now there's some other signs and symptoms that can occur. Blurry vision, dry or itchy skin infections, cuts and bruises that take a long time to heal are also signs that something is not quite right. Again, when these signs are associated with diabetes, these are the result of a high glucose level in the body. If you notice any of the previously mentioned signs, you should schedule an appointment with your doctor. Your doctor will be able to tell you if you should have reason to be concerned about a diagnosis of diabetes.